Hi guys, so for time and spatial scales, you need to know about the different processes we did our presentations on and how those processes change the surface of the Earth. So for example, um, plate tectonics, uh, the plates bump against each other, they pull apart from each other, they slide past each other, that causes earthquakes and mid-ocean ridges and mountains and things like that that change the surface of the earth. Flooding can destroy uh, cities and houses, uh, landslides destroy hillsides. What else? Weathering and erosion can create interesting landforms like Arches National Park. Um, tsunamis, right, can create a lot of destruction. Um, glaciers, uh, a glacier is basically like a pile of snow and ice that gets rocks and boulders stuck in it and as it slides its way down the mountain it scrapes away the mountain side, right? So that also changes the surface of the earth. It wears away mountains that were formed by the tectonic plates. So you need to um, review those processes we did our presentations on, make sure you know how it changes the surface of the earth, and then you need to know about time and spatial scales. So when we're talking about a time scale, we're talking about does this process take a long time to happen or a short time to happen, and we're usually comparing it to like a scale of millions of years or billions of years. So for example, plate tectonics, the time scale of plate tectonics would be really long because the tectonic plates have been moving for millions of years and they move so slowly it takes a long time for them to get anything done really. They move at two to four centimeters a year which is how fast your fingernails grow. So that's a really long time scale, right? Especially when you compare it to the time scale of something like a landslide, which can happen um, pretty suddenly, right? Now, things that increase the likelihood of a landslide would be like rainfall, loosens the soil and makes it more likely to fall um, and create a landslide. Um, if the plants are removed, then it increases the likelihood of a landslide because the roots of the plants act as a net to hold the hillside in place. If you take away those plants and their roots, then that increases the likelihood of a landslide, right? Um, earthquakes can also increase the likelihood of a landslide. But anyway, the time scale of a landslide is much shorter than the time scale of plate tectonics. Now, spatial scale is referring to does it cover a large area or a small area? Um, and usually we're comparing it to like the earth, right? So for example, plate tectonics again would be a large spatial scale because the tectonic plates are literally covering the whole earth. It's just the crust of the earth that's broken up into these pieces that are really, really pretty thick. They're like miles and miles thick. Um, and they cover the whole earth. So that's a large spatial scale. And again, if we compare it to a landslide, a landslide doesn't cover the whole earth. It might cover a few houses or it might cover a, uh, a little town or something, but that's small compared to the entire earth, right? Now some of these uh, processes, the time and spatial scales could go either way. Like for example, weathering and erosion. Some people say weathering is a small spatial scale because uh, it covers a small space if one little rock is getting weathered, but some people say it's a large spatial scale because weathering is happening all over the entire Earth. Now, either one could be right. It all depends on if you have enough evidence and reasoning to back it up. So, and same with uh, time scales, right? So time and spatial scales, as long as you've got good reasoning and evidence to back it up, that's the important thing. Sometimes there's not just a cut and dry answer, okay? Um, oh, and then one more... Uh, example for you. So when the Indian plate crashed into the Eurasian plate, it created the Himalayan mountains, right? A convergent plate boundary creates mountains. And those mountains are actually still growing today because the Indian and the Eurasian plates are still crashing into each other. Now they get worn away by weathering as well, but they are still growing because those plates are still crashing into each other. Now, that took millions of years to happen, and it's still happening today, so that would be a long time scale, because millions of years, that's a long time, right? Especially when you compare it to something like a flood, a tsunami, an earthquake, things like that that happen much faster. So I hope that was helpful. Please ask me if you have questions, and good luck on the quiz.